World War I has always been seen as a war in black and white. It was the only way pictures from the front and scenes recreated for the camera could be filmed. But it was not the reality. The reality happened in color. The slaughter. The innovation. The shock. The political upheavals. Victory. Defeat. The fields were green. The mud brown. The flames bright. World War I was war on a scale never known or imagined before. Between 1914 and 1918, some 65 million men took up arms. 10 million died in battle. 20 million were irretrievably wounded in their minds or their bodies. This brutal war destroyed the very land itself. Not a tree stands, not a square foot of surface has escaped mutilation. There is nothing but the mud and the gaping shell holes. And in the bottom of many, the bodies of the dead. There were fearful weapons, massive mines. Artillery barrages unlike anything seen before. I marvel myself sometimes how human nerves can stand the strain of our existence. Day after day, night after night, hour after hour, a heavy shell falling every few minutes within a few yards of you, half stunning you with the crash of the explosion. And it's the names of the battlefields that have stuck in the memory. Ypres, Verdun, the Somme, Passchendaele. Those who fought in these places witnessed suffering like no other before. In Flanders fields the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place and in the sky the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved. And now we lie in Flanders' fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders' fields.